in the last two sessions of removal and replacement we have totally discussed 12 questions we have totally discussed 12 questions if i remember right first day i discussed only five questions in removal and replacement second day that is yesterday i discussed seven questions which are of little different varieties where i solved some of the questions in method one method two and method three also now what we will do is before i start before I start my 13th question on removal and replacement which is also a very very important question what I will do is I will take the first question which I discussed day before yesterday not just because uh, Praveen Kumar is requesting me to go through that but I also want to take this first question so that I can draw a very very similarity between the first question and the 13th question what I will be discussing in today's class it is just not because Praveen Kumar is asking in the live chat to revise whatever we have discussed in the first two classes but I really want to take the first question once again Again, and also solve it in method 1 and method 2 which we implemented in our first day of removal and replacement and use the same analogy and conclude one important conclusion in my 13th question which is the continuation of yesterday's class everyone listen to this carefully sir although you might have attended my previous classes don't ignore this first question don't ignore this first question i will solve it in both methods two methods which i also solved day before yesterday but having said that listen to this carefully there is an important conclusion out of it now see here sir i will explain you the question in the diagram itself suppose for example this is a vessel this is a vessel initially i have initial volume as 1000 ml of pure milk initial volume is 1000 ml of pure milk is present everyone listen to this carefully sir what i will do is i will take out 100 ml of milk outside the vessel i will take out 100 ml of milk outside i will add 100 ml of water i am sure that people who have attended my yesterday's class or day before yesterday's class both should be clear with this problem but don't ignore it there is a very very important conclusion which i want to derive from this question to the 13th question of removal and replacement now once i add water once i add water it is no more it is no more pure milk it becomes a solution that means i will take out 100 ml of solution out of it and i will add 100 ml of water once again similarly what i will do is i will take out 100 ml of solution once again out of the vessel and i will again add 100 ml of water into it my question is my question for you is what is the final volume of milk and water in the resultant solution or in the final solution final volume of final volume of milk and water that is what they are asking you in the question now see here sir i do not want your answers in the live chat i know that you can solve this question and that too probably if you have practiced whatever i have thought in the last two days you can solve it without using pen but i that is not my intention right now no, my intention is not to ask you the answers for this question uh, my intention is to teach you again method one and method two which i have thought earlier to same thing i will take it and i will join it for the 13th question listen to this carefully there are two parameters one parameter is milk other parameter is water and the last column i can take it as total volume which is present total volume which is present now listen carefully initially 1000 ml of milk is present no water is present initially so 1000 plus 0 total volume is 1000 now what is the first step i am taking out 100 ml of milk out of 1000 ml same logic like i dis discussed yesterday and day before yesterday 100 out of 1000 is taken out that means 1 by 10 is taken out remaining is 9 by 10 i will not explain how 9 by 10 all those things again and again sir that i have been doing from the last two days as well 1 by 10 of mixture is taken out or milk is taken out remaining is 9 by 10 that means initially it is 1000 for this 1000 1 by 10 is taken out remaining inside the vessel is 9 by 10 so 10 into 1 10 into uh, what do you say 100 so 100 into 9 remaining milk inside the vessel right now is 900 now i am adding 100 ml of water into the vessel 100 ml of water is added 
again the resultant or total volume became 1000 right again the resultant or total volume became 1000 that means uh, first step and second step the total volume still remains the same as 1000 now see the next one now 900 ml of milk is present at, at as of now and 100 ml of water is present as of now now what is the third step what is the third step that we are doing here third step is totally 900 ml of milk is present and 100 ml of water is present or in general total volume still remains as 1000 itself total volume still remains as 1000 100 ml of solution is taken out out of 1000 ml 100 out of 1000 is taken out 1 by 10 is taken out remaining is 9 by 10 remaining inside is 9 by 10 milk and remaining inside is 9 by 10 water because it is solution 1 by 10 taken out 1 by 10 solution taken out means 9 by 10 solution is there inside solution is a combination of both milk and water so i should multiply 9 by 10 for both milk and water so zero cancels 90 into 9 is 810 100 into 9 sorry not 100 sir yes so this is 10 cancel 10 into 9 is 90 that is third step step number 3 is completed step number 4 says 100 ml of water is added again that means for this 90 ml of water which is present i will add back 100 ml total water present now is 190 total milk is 810 190 plus 810 again happens to be 1000 that means after four steps also it is still 1000 ml which is present inside total volume it is still the 1000 ml total volume which is present inside now as of now 810 ml of milk is present as of now 180 190 ml of water is present now fifth step says let me use a different color fifth step says 100 ml of solution is taken out out of 1000 ml of total volume 100 out of 1000 is taken out 1 by 10 is taken out remaining is 9 by 10 that means i can say 9 by 10 milk is remaining 9 by 10 water is remaining inside so one zero cancels 81 into 9 is 729 190 into 9 or 19 into 9 is 171 now this completes step number 5 step number 6 says i again added 100 ml of water that means for this 171 i added 100 ml of water it became 271 so final volume of milk inside the vessel is 729 final volume of water inside the vessel is 271 but the total volume which is there inside the vessel right now is also nothing but 1000 which is nothing but 729 plus 271 that means one simple conclusion from this listen to this very very carefully sir one simple conclusion is what is the final ratio of milk and water final ratio of milk and water is 729 is to 271 final ratio of two milk and water is nothing but 729 is to 271 now if i add these two 729 and 271 i will get it as thousand that thousand is nothing but the initial volume or the total volume which is present in the vessel that means uh, final ratio of milk and water the ratio the final ratio sum will always give you the initial volume or the total volume do not ever forget this concept i will come back to this concept in some time but definitely definitely you need this concept for your better understanding of some higher level questions final ratio sum the sum of two parameters in the final ratio is nothing but equal to the initial volume or it is it it need not be initial volume always it can be multiples of initial volume as well that means 729 plus 271 is 1000 initial volume should be a multiple of 1000 yes in this question initial volume is 1000 that is nothing but a multiple of 1000 itself i hope this clear this is very very clear for you people now this is my method one which i already taught you on day one itself method two method two this also i thought you on day one but there is a reason behind discussing again sir just to just like that i will not say again and again what is the key point we discussed always work with the parameter always work with the parameter that is decreasing 
always work with the parameter which is decreasing now what is decreasing in this question milk is decreasing you know this already milk is decreasing that means because milk is taken outside the vessel milk is decreasing i am finding the final volume of milk in this case listen carefully sir now everyone observe carefully everyone observe carefully total volume initially is 1000 total volume initially is 1000 but my question for you is initially total volume is 1000 and i am finding milk parameter is that entire 1000 ml whatever it is there initially as total volume is it completely milk yes it is completely milk that means this initial volume 1000 whatever is present right now it is completely milk it is a pure milk no other adulteration has happened nothing has been added yet nothing has been added initially that means initial volume of thousand happens to be completely pure milk and i am also finding milk parameter in this question which is the final milk so whatever thousand i am writing here is nothing but initial volume but that entire thing is 1000 that entire 1000 is milk itself therefore i can write 1000 entire thing here i hope you are understanding you will understand it better when i take 13th problem do not worry about it and then the same procedure 10 out 100 out of 1000 is taken out 1 by 10 is taken out remaining is 9 by 10 again 100 added again it became 1000 100 out of 1000 is taken out 1 by 10 is taken out 9 by 10 again it will be 100 added 100 taken out 1 by 10 taken out 9 by 10 these are all something which you know sir so it is 1000 cancels with 1000 729 should be milk water should be 1000 minus 729 which is 271 i hope that I hope the idea is very very clear milk is 729 water is 271 milk and water ratio is 729 is to 271 when I add it I will get 1000 that 1000 is nothing but my initial volume this also is a very very important point which I explained in method 1 as well I hope method 1 and method 2 whatever I have discussed in my first class on removal and replacement there is a revision for new students who are attending for the first time but other students who have attended my last two sessions on removal and replacement should have supreme confidence in this kind of problems at this present moment before i move on to 13th problem on removal and replacement first i request you to comment whether this is clear or not this is clear or not i want to know it sir once again i am saying i am actually trying to find the parameter of milk final volume of milk final volume of milk is initial volume into something but this initial volume is 1000 in this question it is given in the question as 1000 but the main important point here is is that entire 1000 ml only referring to milk yes it is only referring to milk that is the reason i can write 1000 here if if it is not entire thing 1000 milk then i should write how much milk is present here as the initial volume that we will see it in our 13th problem do not worry about it 